Hello, welcome to Amnesia TV. We're with Steve Arkey tonight. Hi, how are you doing? Should I use this mic? Or no, you, uh, can, you can just share with me. Okay. That's right. good. Yeah, with you. that's fine, yeah. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. yeah. What does it feel like to be back at Amnesia with us tonight? Um, well, my last show here was pretty wild, and I played the main room, mm -hmm. which you guys changed, which is, yeah. looks really cool. And, I mean, the terrace is such a leg legendary place. I remember I played. My first time playing Amnesia was like, I think, like 07 or 08 for Manumission. And I played that, the um, Terrace when you guys had the DJ booth on the side. Yes, that's right. And I was, I remember I played um, this uh, Weezer song. I played, dude, and that crowd went off to that. I couldn't believe that. I was playing like Queen and shit like that in Amnesia. I couldn't, it was kind of like, I felt like it was different because obviously, like, even back then, 08 was like mainly all minimal techno. So coming in there and playing that and having the crowd accept me, having the club accept me for, for my strange, weird personality and weird, weirdness. Was really was really ha I was really happy about that, but I'm happy to be back, man. I love Amnesia. It's a great club, great culture here. Yeah. And what does Ibiza mean to you? Ibiza is like two worlds to me. It's like you have you have the club culture, which is like so definitive around the world. It's like the satellite beacon. What you, what people think of Ibiza, they think of like nonstop crazy clubs and. DJs are like the mayors of, and they run the, the city. And it's like what Vegas is now. But then you see the second side, the other side of Ibiza, which to me is so beautiful. And which is really like my, my, my real love of this, of this island is, is going out into the ocean and seeing like all, just the beauty of like the island and like the, uh, the being out in the water and and, and just seeing all the mountains and trees and there's so much to the, the island there that no one gets to check out. And obviously you travel a lot and you're in a million things, you've got a billion things going on. How do you find that when you have to produce at the same time? Well, I mean, this is, I, I use different methods. Like when I finished Wonderland, I was really only focusing all my production in my studio in, in, in LA and which is why it took me like two, three years to finish the whole album. But this new album I'm working on now, Neon Future, I've um, I've pretty much learned all the hiccups and all like I've eaten shit so many times on my face, kind of like like figured it out, and and um, I'm producing pretty much on the road. So I'll do I'll like I have like my studio at home. I'll even I've rented out cabins um, in the in the mountains, and I've like isolated myself to work on production and now I'm like riding like on planes literally like planes jets hotel rooms and um, I'll write bits and pieces and 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 put songs together that way it's easier for me that way because I get inspired quickly and I kind of yeah. take what I'm hearing when I'm like you know like hearing it all these different places around the world and all the different DJs I'm like what's what's being uh, effective as far as like new drops new melodies and and that's a uh, it's made my sound a little bit more like I'm trying to make it to the next level, you know. Yeah. And out of all of the places you've been to in the world, where would you say has been the best place you've performed at? It's a tough one, but I, I can probably say, and I've said this many times, I'd say Tomorrowland because <laughs> of the influence. And and it's not just, um, you, I mean, when you're playing, like when I played main stage, it was, first of all, it was a really epic set time. I was playing main stage after David Guetta, closing set of the entire festival, day three. And you're looking out and you see everyone's, like you feel like the whole world's there. You know, you, you see like the whole, like the hill's full and the, obviously the crowd's full and you see like all these like camera lights and 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 the colors and, and it's it just it's such an epic set time. And then afterwards, you realize how many people you're playing in front of because it's on YouTube. And then like that gets played out a million times, you know, a million plus times. So it's it's definitely the most influential set I've played probably in my career. Um, and you know, it's the most pressure yeah. I've ever had. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, I love, like it's hard to pick one, but if I had to, it'd be tomorrow. It'd be tomorrow 
And so what have you got prepared for us tonight? Have we got any cake throwing, any champagne? Yeah, I got all that or... stuff, you know, I can't leave without my cakes. <laughs> People, people want the cake, so I bring the cake. You know, it's 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 a, it's just that level of demand, supply and demand. But um, uh, I I want to I want to have a really fun, interactive show, and that's one of the most important things. I want people to leave really excited and super having super positive feelings about the show. I mean, the music is the most important part. It's ninety percent of the show, yeah. and everything else to me is like adding a little bonus to the to the music that little interactive element um and tonight in amnesia i'm, I'm gonna test out a lot of new songs i'm probably gonna play like 75 percent all new unreleased music and i'm gonna play like probably seven or eight songs from my next album neon future so i'll be debuting songs from my album and then i'm gonna be deb debuting a lot of dim mock music which is my record label we've we put out tons of tons of amazing songs and artists every every single Tuesday we have new music coming out so cool. I have like tons of stuff to test out in the crowd and see how it reacts well I'm sure you're gonna have an amazing night because they are begging for you out there yeah, I'm excited <laughs> night, it's hard it's hard to follow a night party though because their set is probably one of my favorite sets to watch like they're like my favorite one of my favorite DJs too and good friends well, together, I'm sure that we'll have a great time yeah, together. Yeah. And thank you very much for your time. And yeah. we'll see you very again All soon. Right. Okay. Thank you for watching Amnesia TV. <laughs>